Hello everyone, uh, many of you may have already seen the Opera fix up for of course uh, the amazing PlayStation Classic. I didn't think we could really get it going on the Mega Drive SNES, SNES Classics as well, but uh, we now have it running awesome on these three platforms as well as the PlayStation Classic. Again, thanks to the incredible efforts of Trap Exit as well as Walk Knight in this amazing collaboration. Let's check this out. And uh, we're running this on the Mega Drive Mini and uh, look how nice it's running. Oh yeah, let's see if we can get this. You ever notice how this sounds like the uh, song from the Top Gun movie? By Cheap Trick. <laughs> Mighty Wings. Damn. <laughs> so fast. I had to rearrange the controls here. A little bit tricky to get used to. On the uh, 3DO controller. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm taking you down, Ken. Take these body wings. And if you look on, like, Angry Video Game Nerd channel, he actually did a nice uh, collaboration where he was doing awesome, awesome... Uh, like a representation of the uh, Cheap Trick Mighty Wing song. We gotta take Ken down now. <laughs> Go on. Okay, not gonna happen this time, Ken. And you might notice the actual uh, background animations are actually superior to the arcade version. The 3DO version, the Super Street Fighter 2, is way, way better than the arcade version, as far as I'm concerned. Better soundtrack, uh, better animations, especially when you get to like the Dalcom stage. Man. Remember, like, in the arcade when people would be, like, uh, putting their quarters on the machine while you're playing because they're kind of, like, uh, saying, like, here, I'm going to be playing next. Damn, Ken's going to take me out here. Come on, let me have this. I have, uh, I'm very, very rusty at this. Like, Rusty Nails, uh, Joyride, remember that, uh, great, great movie from way, way back. Let's try with another character here. Let's see if we can do this with, like, uh, a different character here. I'm going to continue. I'm gonna take him down a second time around. Attack me if you dare, I will crush you. It reminds me of like the Mike Tyson's punch out little animations and such. But we're gonna continue and uh, try a different character. Continue. Yep. Let's try uh, one of my favorite characters. Uh, we'll do uh, <laughs> E Honda. I call him like Gain Ryu though, because E Honda and Gain Ryu from Tekken are very, very similar. Okay, and uh, remember when uh, this one guy made like a Street Fighter versus uh, Mega Man game? Uh, that is awesome, and I think it might actually show up on, like, uh, PS4, Switch, and uh, Xbox One at some point. When in doubt, <laughs> to the thousand fifth. Man, I shouldn't have left this on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> We're gonna get this, though. Even if I have to do cheap moves to take him down. <laughs> in the arcade, the first uh, tough character was always Guile. You know, a.k.a. Oh, uh, Jean-Claude Madame. I actually like Street Fighter, the arcade game. Where it had like them, uh, like uh, motion capture type characters, digitized characters. That was awesome. I can remember how to do the super moves in this. I remember you have to do like the same command twice. I think I hope back to do like the one charge attack. It's been so long since I played this. I've been playing Tekken and Soul Calibur for like the last decade. Nowhere near as much uh, Street Fighter, but I do still want to see Tekken vs Street Fighter. I do have the uh, Street Fighter vs. Tekken, which is made by Capcom, but there's supposed to be a Tekken vs. Street Fighter made by Namco at some point, which is going to be awesome. Damn. <laughs> Just don't jump. There's one thing you don't want to do in fighting games if you're playing like in competition. You jump too much or do 10 hit combos. There we go. There's that super move. Oh, yeah. I don't care if I'm being cheap right now. It's all about demonstrating the gameplay in action. And I've been catching up on Dexter. I'm currently on the sixth episode. Still watching uh, Sanford and Son and 